Alright guys, welcome to my Dragbite monster review. He was the most recent Bounty Hunt exclusive monster. They've removed making a new one in favor of a really powerful monster. Now they gave us a really good one to start off with, Dragbite. He's a cold blood hater attacker. Oh man, he does a lot of haters. He has a lot of potential to stack up his damage and he has cold blood. But he's also a dark monster and a pierced light meta. So he's really iffy. I think he's going to be one of the most powerful picks in... Um, the Dragon Book especially, anything with wielders, just having Cold Blood and these haters makes him super powerful. Add that to the fact where his damage output is insane and he only multiplies it with his skills, and I think he's an amazing monster. So Drac by a Dark and Galactic Era attacker. So his lore, Dartmouth Khan's leadership is constantly under question, and the law of the strongest prevails. In this environment, a new barbarian superstar has risen, called Drac by He made his name by slaying dragons in the Northlands. He wears the skin of his victims as a cloak, which confers him protection and extra powers. So one thing that's funny about him is that he has every hater but dragon hater when he just kills dragons. And the funny thing about that is Darmouth Khan is a dragon, you know? He's the leader of the, bar the barbarians, and then just this guy shows up and he's challenging Darmouth Khan. There's no way Darmouth Khan can stand a chance because, you know, you've just got a dragon over here. And then you've just got a dragon slayer in the same book. So yeah, he's a perfect for taking him down. Lore-wise, he should have no troubles. Um, But yeah, his, I just thought that was cool. His finisher is Rising Sword, applies guard down and bleed to one enemy. Deals massive dark damage. So depending on if you set up the guard down hater, or if you have him at least rank 1, he will have bleed hater. And then the massive damage, this should be an instant kill in any good scenario. Um, But yeah, now let's go over his trait. So at rank 0, he has Cold Blood. This is amazing. Oh, they haven't released a monster with Pierce in forever, at least not behind a paywall and at rank 5. So this is really good. Cold Blood is what they're trying to use now, a watered-down version of Pierce. It can bypass Taunt and Mega Taunt. So if you a Taunt Dodge Area team, which is the most powerful mechanic in the game, um, without having to set up anything. You know, so you can't do an AoE. You have to hit the Taunt monster. The Dodge Area monsters are immune. Um, he can just walk right past that with very powerful singles. And I mostly think of Yuria, the Divine. I only ever see him with, um, you know, Taunt Dodge Area teams. And he's dark on Earth, so he will instant kill him. So I think this is a Uriel hater. Um, one thing I will say, he's dark in a light meta. He does have the advantage against Fropsy, Uriel, um, King Autumn. But... You know, being dark in the light meta is kind of hard. But honestly, I think it kind of evens out. People are really moving away from using light meta just because they're getting bored. Then we have bleed hater at rank 1. This means you automatically have that hater against anyone with bleed. So you only need him at rank 1 for that triple damage against bleed potential. It's really easy to set up. I'm going to go over a few ways to do it. Then we have tough. All status effects have a 35% less accuracy against this target. So, hmm, let me try and read into this. Oh yeah, okay. I sorry, I'm having the brain fart. So this means thirty five percent less thirty five percent of all negative status effects won't land against him. This is really good. It's just a bulk trait, you know, maybe things will miss a good percent of times things will miss because that's a pretty hefty percent to just throw in there when it should be a hundred. Um so it's a pretty great status effect. No, pretty great trait to have, although you only get it at rank three. So at rank three you're really set. Like you don't need to go any farther. But if you want, you can go to rank four and have him a uh, random elemental hater this will be really powerful because if you roll the right thing it could be an instant kill no matter who it is i think he has the potential um with the guard down hater ally to be the most powerful bounty hunt attacker period so i'm definitely going to look into making a video when bounty hunt rolls back around for him so random elemental hater it could be good it could be bad either way it's a very powerful thing and then status caster self precision increases its own precision by 50 percent kind of redundant because he does a lot of guard down in his skill set but hey i'm not a complainer so now let's feed him to level 115 and see what he can do so i haven't seen all of his moves yet but from what i did look over i did like what i saw i do have enough resources to get him straight to rank three so once i choose out his skills and everything i'm gonna start ranking him up again because i already have him at 115 i want this guy rank three because that's how many cells i got for bounty hunt and then i'll just get him to rank five through um the rank up survival dungeon i want this guy rank three as soon as possible so do 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 obviously this guy is a all team strength no all strength so i think i'm gonna go level seven 
I forgot, yeah, I did mutate some runes, so I did lose some. Level 9 and level 9. Oh, that's really expensive. It's giving a lot to him, but I honestly think he's going to be one of my best monsters because let's go over his skill set and show you why. So we have Cold Eyes. Deals moderate dark damage to enemy. All right, this is your real cooldown 24 stamina move. So if your cooldowns are activated, as long as you have the stamina, this is spammable. Maybe you run this, but let's see what else he has. Snatch the snatch to crush. Deals low dark damage to enemy. Applies bleed. Okay, fully spammable, but really low at the cost of having a dot. Honestly, I don't think you're going to run any of these moves on him. You want maximum damage output. Cloak shelter. Removes all tortures for, and applies damage boost to itself. So, honestly, I don't think that's needed. He applies damage boost in two separate turns, although they only last one turn, so really weird. Um, But, you know, anyways, this just wouldn't work, because if you did this first, then this one, it would override the three turns for the one turn. So, yeah, it's really worthless. Uh, removing torches is nice, but he has an attack that does it. So, Master of the Battle deals low dark damage to all enemies, applies guard down twice. I think this is his worst move. It seems like it's got good potential, but guard down... Once you land it, you can't miss any other attack, so it doing it twice is kind of redundant. You see Taunt Dodge Area all the time. This That's the reason you're using this monster, is to fight Taunt Dodge Area. And I would say if that was his only AoE, you should run it, but it's not. At a 0 cooldown, 18 stamina, it is kind of spammable. Maybe you run it just to have that very powerful attack, you know, as long as you have the stamina. But honestly, I'm not a big fan of it, so I'm not going to run it. I want to have fun with this monster. So hit it more. Deals heavy dark damage to one enemy, applies guard down to one enemy, damage boost to itself. So you can see with a move like this, why he has such great potential for a guard down, for a bounty hunt attacker. So it only goes to like 65% damage, but that is a ton of damage that he's packing. So 42 stamina, 2 turn cooldown. Honestly, it's average. This is above average, but this is really normal stuff. And for all the effects he does, maybe an instant kill plus guard down plus damage boost, your next turn is going to hit like a truck. So then we have bloody hell. Deals very heavy dark damage to one enemy, applies a damage boost to itself, and bleed to one enemy. So not only do you reapply that damage boost, not only do you do almost massive damage, because he almost hits that third node, as you can see, for a two-turn cooldown on 38 stamina, still average, a little bit lower, in fact, for better stuff, you give them bleed so that you can do your bleed hater. You know, and that's his biggest thing. So a very powerful attack. Then you have deep wounds, deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies bleed, two-turn cooldown 40 stamina all right uh definitely give him a stamina relic but i honestly don't think that's a big problem i think he does have a mask so you don't need to worry about that and the cooldowns all all of his moves are really good so i don't think you're going to be worried that you need to wait two turns for this because then you can just do this and if you fight a megaton monster if you do an aoe since you have cold blood it'll go right past him so only thing you got to remember is cold blood means you can go past a taunt monster and single target a dodge area monster but that doesn't mean you can bypass dodge area so if you do an aoe it still won't land and then you have spinning cloak does moderate dark damage to enemy uh, removes torches from itself this is really close to his a uh, good spammable attack because on a one turn cooldown 30 stamina you don't need much to do this move but once you have it you can remove torches all torches from yourself and he's not immune to torture so that is really good oh he has armor okay so for stamina i do killer Oak's armor it is actually the only armor only piece of equipment and armor to give you stamina if your stamina runs below it now people really don't know about it because people don't like it that much but i love it so i'm giving you that suggestion definitely run it i'm gonna run cane sword for some sustainability too and now i'm just gonna keep ranking them up um so rank up you know what? i'm just gonna do it we're really gonna go all out this monster review so boom he is going to hit like a truck. Let's see his power stat when we come back. Ooh, boom, boom. And then I'll rank him up. First, I got to get him to 126 or I've wasted my gems. Ooh, 63,000 power. Finally, I'm getting so tired of giving good runes to like Abyssal Era monsters that never get ranked up. So at 126, I'm just going to get him to rank 5. I can't wait. So yeah, I will say, I heard from my good friend Abrigo, who used him at rank 5, that he was kind of underwhelming. So we're going to see. So instead of Cory X Kenshin, we are going to run, let's see, Gahizol. Yeah, I think that's my play here. So the reason I'd run Gahizol 
is oh is she on my defense team no where is she fire here she is so we're gonna run her with her aoe against the enemy which i usually don't run but i guess i'll just run um so we're gonna run her with the aoe against the enemy and then we're gonna give her hidden shiv so she can apply bleed for the bleed hater um there is also a very good argument to run any given guard down hater monster like whatever that dog guy's name is k911 or no k9 no i know his name the mob boss Da ah, whatever dawn k9 i was close you could run him to apply guard down hater so you can do bleed and guard down hater at the same time but personally i think that's trying to fit too many gimmicks into one and you might end up not having it might not work a lot because that takes a lot of setup and dawn k9 can't do any like evasion or anything he does have denial but without cold blood or something like that to make it even stronger i just don't know if it's worth it so now we have drag bite and what talent to give him i honestly don't have any good talents right now but i gotta think mysterious light or this Ooh, this might instant kill any light monsters but this might let me do a guard down hater series of attacks i'm gonna go copper beard hook just because give you two armors and then let's take you out to pvp so tertillians and vata magmas as always and let's do it so i cannot wait to see this team in action hopefully i don't fight any demonic packs that would be annoying so galvanis all right so it looks like i'm going straight for the bleed hater and i did run into a demonic pact bro why are there so many enemies running this it's such a garbage thing so i apply bleed bleed lands hopefully they don't cleanse it away boom <coughs> she takes like 17 reflections oh but the bleed is gone nightmares oof 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 all right this is a very powerful team i'm fighting against so okay i get my turn i definitely want to instant kill someone so in that sense i'm actually just going to do an aoe boom copper beard's hook is going to kick in do the rest for me so you're going to revive, and then I can kill you again, or I will have an opportunity to. Um, not much I can do here. I'm just going to tank the damage, watch them die. Boom, she dies. Shadow and use essence. Oh, I hate how you can have a million of those these days. Now, boom. Things are getting really hard. The self-sustainability on uh, the armor that I have running on Dragbite, really good stuff. All right, and sadly, I lose this match. Ooh, unless... No, I lost this match. Boom. So, yeah, the opponents were just too good for this match. Um, those were really... That's a really powerful combo, just cleansing and cleansing. And I don't have any AoE cleansing. That's the sad part about Gahizol. She might be outdated for the job, but I don't know. Oh, hold on. This probably better monster because if he has the hook, he doesn't need someone else to apply bleed. So boom, you're just attacking the wall. This is going to suck. As I said, he's a dark monster and a light meta. Definitely doesn't favor him. And I'm apply the bleed to you. At least I can land it. Lust wings, instant kill. Yeah. All right, so this is really annoying. Ah, uh, the, he would be so fun to use if I could just showcase him. But it is really hard. So I'm actually going to switch up my strategy. Two. Omnia. Do the... And this is a very special strategy I have come up with. Autumn's Cross. Yes. So this means with this strategy, Omnia can get two turns in. So I'm going to use both turns to turn transfer and let him apply his bleed hater. Um, properly against all enemies i don't know if i'll get that far because i keep fighting galvanis um but i might here depends on if her she is faster than me she is not thank goodness finally so boom boom boop all right turn transfer back and i'm just gonna give you a good bit of 
damage just to make this easier on myself. Boom. 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 I'm just gonna kill him. Boom. Boom. Oh, I really did not mean to kill him. Alright, so here's the first turn transfer. Alright, so here we're gonna apply the bleed. And boom, bleed lands on all. So now. Uh okay, good. I thought I'd waste my I thought I'd wasted my banner for a second. Alright, so now is my second turn transfer. Boom. Look, now he has bleed hater against everyone plus the minor damage boost, which it did come from Amania, but he could have applied it himself. So look at that. The first turn in and he gets the instant kill. So I'm going to do this one, save myself some trouble. Boom, bleed and drowned. Boom, you're dead. So yeah, anticipation is the only thing stopping the strategy. But if he can set up, there's no stopping him from an instant kill. Um, there might be ways to instantly get a status caster bleed. I'm just not too, not too aware of which ones those would be. So this is definitely a match you don't want to underestimate. So we're definitely going to go Tyler's Capricorn. Then damage boost to all. A recharge. We're going to want to give them all the turns we can. And we're just going to do deep wounds. We got lucky this time with a, wor with a warning. They weren't running all the you know optimal setups. So boom. All right. Let's keep going. I'm hoping I'm going to find some better reviews. Uh, usually this early in the season, the early leagues are actually the hardest. Um, because everyone's setting up their defense so powerful so that they can climb up the leagues with ease. So, ah, uh, no, I'm not even going to do this. It's an instant kill. I'm sorry. I can't. Um, maybe Shadownia would work better so I could just uh, cleanse off Galvanus first thing. But look, okay, this will be a good review. Really depends, actually. So, boom, Autumn's Cross. Boom, boom. Two extra turns cleanse and then double damage so it looks like we're going for this strategy right now so i'm going to turn transfer to you and as i said he's a dark monster so he's just going to rip through monsters like this so one shot instant kill on king autumn which that doesn't happen a lot on a monster like king autumn so boom boom demonical angel all right nothing i can't take all right repent sinner okay i didn't want you to kill him but Nothing I can do now. Cleanse. Do. Cleanse. Turn transfer to you. And boom! He does so much damage. So boom, and then I let Copperbeard's hook do get the kill for me. Even with that banner, she didn't stand a chance. And darn, it would it should have applied bleed, but it didn't. So now, she dies to Copperbeard's hook. He's a very powerful monster. I don't know why it's so hard to just set up for one dot. I feel like there's strategies that I just don't know of that I'm definitely open on making PvP reviews if any of you guys know better teams with him. But this team is pretty fun. It's just annoying. Obviously, no team is really going to do that well against high meta like this. And this is one scenario where I'm really screwed because he is like the perfect counter to him because he's immune to bleed. He is Megaton and he is dark. But one thing, as I said, that makes him so powerful is the fact that he has cold blood. He can go right past Taunt and Megaton, so he can attack whoever he wants right now. So what am I going to do? I'm going to turn transfer. Very risky move. But I want to get that instant kill. All right. They're just eating. Whoa, no. How is the reflection attacking himself? What was that? Uh, well, now I can instant kill whoever I want. I'm going to get you first. And now I have a damage boost. Now bleed to everyone. So I'm unstoppable. He already did his um, team evasion move. So he can't do it again. And now with bleed hater against you, Galvanus, I'm going to instant kill. No! No, you did not. You did not. Ah. Uh, cleanse, remove tortures. All right, enlightenment, recharge. What are you gonna do? I uh, oh, instant kill from King Autumn's Cross. All right, so AOE, and as I said, even if he did have Megaton, it wouldn't have stopped me because I have cold blood. Very good display. 
Boom, Tyler's Capricorn. Get my stamina. Boom, phase shield. Oh, forgot about that. I'm definitely going to have to get rid of that. Boom, boom. And it's dark on dark, so it is going to be a little bit hard here. Stamina, turn transfer. And yeah, let's just do guard down. And we'll just let you die to dots. All right. Boom, it's going to kick in again, right? Yeah, I hate that now you have to cleanse the entire phase shield just to kick it in. Look, it kicks in for the last time. Uh, boom. 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 Uh, phase shield. No wonder people hated it so much. All right, then turn transfers for the final kill. So, boom. And one spinning cloak. Kill. All right. Let's get one more good match in, and then I think I'm going to call it it for a video. But, yeah, that's been my... Um, Dragbite monster review. He's a really good monster. He's kind of annoying sometimes to use in the meta. He's definitely not a PvP monster per se. He's definitely an amazing war monster. Uh, because, you know, in the Dragon Book, he's undisputed. And this is going to be amazing. Since now I'm fighting not only a Uriel, but he's behind a taunt monster. So I can really showcase why it is you need this. So, first turn transfer. Instant kill, no problems, because this is Uriel. Remember, if I do this, I won't be able to touch Uriel, because he still has dodge area. I can go right past taunt, but I can't get past dodge area, so I have to single target. Never forget that, because I feel like that makes me that would make me lose if I wasn't so aware of it. And he didn't have revival. Very lucky. So, boom. You have bleed now. So, I'm going to have some fun. Double damage. We're going to see just how much damage I can stack up right here. All right. Torture immunity. Now, I'm going to turn transfer. Yes. And boom. I can instant kill either one of... Oh, he, how did it not land? Eh, I guess I'll just kill you. Copper beads hook. Oh, I could have sworn copper beads hook applied bleed. That's where I was wrong. Wait, drowned in... Oh, he's a he's immune to bleed. No way. I did not notice that. No way. Oh, man. Well, that would have done so much damage. But either way, I am a dark element. And dark element um, is strong against earth. Earth does appear a lot in the meta. But it also means that there's not a lot of dark monsters in the meta because it's a light and uh, fire pierce meta. So you won't run into a lot of dark on dark. So yeah, that's about it for my Dragbite monster review. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button. I've never said that, actually. Um, but you know, there's no harm in starting now. Smash that like button down below. It helps the channel. It supports the video. Uh, it helps me a lot. You know, it helps the video and the algorithm. Help this get around to other people who want to see a review on this monster. He's really fun. Really hope you got him. Really hope you got him to like at least rank 1 so that he has that bleed hater and he's instantly amazing. Um, leave a comment and we'll respond. What are your thoughts on him? Do you think he's good? Overrated? Is he bad? He's definitely underwhelming in some scenarios, but in war, he's unstoppable. Um, any team suggestions I would love to use with him? Um, and yeah, subscribe to join the Crab Army. We have hit 300 subscribers, and we're only going to keep growing. Thank you all so much for that unbelievable milestone, and let's just keep growing. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in the next one, and I hope you have an amazing day. That's about it. Your favorite Omnius Crab, signing out.